Only one fixture on match day four with Wales taking on Georgia at the City of Toyota Stadium for the second match in Pool D. The Six Nations champions were looking to continue their champagne year while Georgia hoped to build on an impressive 2015 World Cup where they enjoyed their most successful campaign with two wins. With eight places separating the teams in the world rankings, Georgia were aiming to upset a strong Welsh presence here in Japan. Gareth Davis feeds, comes at the back. The wide drift ball in open space. Jonathan Davis, take a bow. He's run straight through the Georgian defense. His first real, real chance, and he puts it underneath the poles. Well, so hard to defend against. There were four or five runners streaming down on that Georgian defense. Davis picked the great line. The pass from Gareth Davis, absolutely perfect. And the Georgian defense left wanting. Perfect start for Wales. Lovely officiating as Ken Owens gets this one. Wales set the line. The back's coming as well, piling in there. Hadley Parks, as well as Josh Adams, the winger from Cardiff Blues. And Gigori Nemsatse told to move up the way, the number four. And here it comes with That's a tackle. Parks. Aaron Wainwright, 21-year-old from the Dragons. Josh Navidi. They work the right inside. Bigger turns it back in to the try scorer, Jonathan Davis. Wales with advantage. Wide ball for Bigger. Adams can't get around his opposite number, so they recycle to the forwards now. No advantage coming. Number 10, offside. First penalty attempt tonight. The flags go up, it's 8-0 after just under seven minutes. And Wales back on the attack. They turn it beautifully on the inside. Josh Adams gets it away to Davis. Davis steps. Numbers on the right hand side. They need it. The dummy is thrown. Justin Tipperick is in. The dragon is breathing. That ball inside was fantastic. Great little break from the left winger too. Yeah, yeah. and so hard to defend against when, when a team comes that flat and that hard with such pass and power and pace. Tipperick looked up there and just realised there was a bit of a gaping hole behind the breakdown through he went. Wide ball yet again. Beautiful angle. Here they go, cutting through. Josh Adams. Adams has been a delight to watch. Adams for the corner. He's got it. It's another five for Wales. Fantastic opening 20 minutes, and they get their third try. This time, no second pass required. Adams has showed a clean pair of heels. He's got toe, he's got plenty of it. Davis with a flat pass, bigger the inside ball. The step off the right foot from Adams, and there was just no one who was going to catch him. A natural born finisher with a, an instinct for the try line. Over he goes. Josh Adams, 24 year old, debuted in February 2018 against Scotland. His first Rugby World numbers? Cup. Time on. Line up. They managed to retain this one with Becca Gorgadze, the 23 year old. Over the halfway line, Georgia using their forwards. A couple of pick and drives. Mamuka Gorgadze. And now they wrap around. Shifting it to Cabeza Ladze. Three red jerseys in front of him, so nowhere to go. He Spits it free. Abjan Jadze tries to move it away, and Wales come flying up. Mama Kushvili in to help out for Georgia. They lost 20 meters. This Welsh defense has suffocated them so far in the first 23 minutes, so they have to kick things away. Gareth Davis thought about a kick and then tries to step his way through. He runs into the big frame, though, of Tamas Chedlice. 
ball is there for Josh Adams. And Navidi debuted against Japan in 2013. Okay, use it, Wales. Lads, you've had it. Davis gets the warning from a referee. Oh, Wynn Jones hit hard. Some tired bodies out there so far in this first stanza. Davis again goes to the air, putting the pressure back on Georgia. And then I'm right back up, Gorgatze goes to the outside, Gorgatze in a half gap. Great strong carry from the number eight. Drifting on the outside, Objan Datsay, almost through. The 20 year old, no, wait, 19, 158 days on debut, the youngest Georgian flaff ever. Okay, Georgia, use it. But the Lilos have to go back and reload as their general, Vasil Lobjanitse. Urges on his forward pack. They get through a tremendous work in a game. Lobjanitse moves it across, and again, they try to see if they get this overlap on the near side. Outside center, David Kacharava, 34-year-old veteran, 99 starts. Oh, a little half gap, and here it goes! Mama Kushvili in open space, they turn it to Tigishlashvili. A wonderful breakout, Georgia, here they go. Again, more numbers. Mikhail Stutze, first time they just outside the 22. No advantage, that's all okay. But there's no advantage from a knock over here, and I want to see if it's deliberate. Just hold here. Yeah, so if it's more than a scrum kiss here, I want to check it because we've got a clear line break. So I want to see if it's any more, please. We've got to check, that's why we're looking. So we're checking for a deliberate knock on. Make sure it goes forward first, mate, and then we'll go further. That one there. Those are your angles. Okay, mate. Um, so originally I had a knock on. On the review, I am not seeing this ball clearly travel forward. Um, it looks to me he does nine puts the arm out, but the ball goes backwards, bounces the floor, and hit backwards as well. So I don't see it clearly go forward, do you? I don't either, it's come backwards. Yeah, so it's my mistake for literally knock on. So there's nothing will scrum to Georgia where I blew the whistle, okay? Yep. And big hit coming through here. Hadley Parks takes it into the contact. Man from the Scarlets. Got a good little loop around. Davis again, here they go. Davis to Fox. Jonathan Davis gets it wide. They're over again. Liam Williams. The recipient for another first-class try for the Welsh. Bonus point wrapped up in the first 40. It is about absorbing pressure. When you get an opportunity, it's about being clinical and taking it. It's exactly what Wales have done. Jonathan Davis, I thought he may have a chance to go the distance there. Williams has hardly been in the game. Pops up with a brilliant pickup, and over the line he goes. I thought he might have, have a little dart on the outside, Davis, but he is getting on a bit. No longer has the gas. Williams does. And Wales have got the bonus point try. Head coach Warren Gatlin will certainly enjoy the halftime talk as his charges. They lead 29-0 after 40 minutes in Pool D at the City of Toyota against Georgia. A rampant first half from Wales left Georgia plenty to do in the second. And the underdogs hit the ground running early on. Again, Mamukashvili is on the money. Ball there to Georgi. Nemsatse at the back with Mama Kushvili. Kushvili. Kushvili with numbers behind him is over the line. I, I know, I know. Just everyone relax and take a step up a second. Relax, fellas. Time's up, boys. Well, they certainly won't be relaxed, Luke Pierce. A referee tries to get in. He wants to keep this ball on the ground to show him. I know. Well, none of the Welsh okay, players are moving because they don't want to concede. Time is off. Yeah. Do you want me to check it or are we just going to get it? Check it. Yeah, KT, time off, please. Um, just check. On-field decision is try. Yes. I have the ball on the line. Oh, we're going to see a grounding. That is going to be the critical factor. Oh, yeah, he's got to give that. Yes, Luke, that's grounded. You hear the applause, you hear the whistle. 
And Shelva, Mama Kashvili has certainly not come here for a haircut. Young Tedo of Jandadze lines this one up. Oh, and the con crowd continue to enjoy the Georgians here. 29 points to seven right now. And a change for Wales. Time on. Looks like it is Thomas Francis who's made way for Dylan Lewis. Justin Tiprick with a good take there. Ball for the Welsh pack as they drive it up. Wales driving for the line. Fantastic bit of work here. Wales just short, but they have the advantage. Gareth Davis rips it away. They have advantage to kick over the top, stunning, and he touched that down! If it is, that is a try for the ages. But I believe he's not on over here. He's yeah. yeah Fair enough. Do you want to check it? Are you happy with it? Uh, happy with the knock-on call? Yeah. Kitty he definitely knocked it on. Fine, so, so we're back to the penalty on the five-metre line for the collapsing the moor. Yeah, I was said. Great idea. Great idea. Great so no try, kick. lads. Penalty. Lee just Williams penalty. not able to gather. Just lost it forward as he was trying to ground it. No need to go upstairs, says Ben O'Keefe. Definite knock on. Good, quick officiating yeah. from the officials once again. Yeah. And we'll go back for the collapse mall advantage. Very clever little kick over the top from Dan Bigger. Yeah. Okay, so let's take time off a second. Um, Rowan. Oh, he was so close, wasn't he? I just he? want to come to you. Um, that rolling more that we had, I've just got a consideration. It might be more than just a penalty here because it does travel a very long way. So could I just have a look at the rolling more, please? Okay. So the more's travelled a good eight metres, very dynamic. It's rapid, it's moving. 16 collapses on my side there. Happy, boys? Agree. Yeah. Cool. 16, please. 16. The more this travelled a very long way and then you've collapsed it. You're lucky it's not a penalty try, but it is a yellow card. Well, he's just got on the field as Gurum Kogitashvili. It's been on for about 45 seconds of playing time and off he goes again. Wide ball, Wynn Jones to Brick. Good hands, North. George North kicks down the centre, North. It's genius, how will it sit up? It sits up just fine, thank you very much. Thomas Williams has scored one of the great Welsh tries in a Rugby World Cup. The flanker, Justin Tipperick, the captain Wales against Ireland earlier this season. Then the little kick, the great vision from the experienced George North. I thought when he kicked it, it was going to run dead. It was weighted absolutely perfectly. Nicky Smith told to correct things. 30-second appearance for Wales. Up against a mean front row. Reserves from Georgia. This time it's a penalty for Georgia. They want to go quickly. Little dummy throwing the ball through the tackle. Still available. Great bit of skills, they attack the line. Chetlitsa involved. Not there. Georgia with a crowd behind them. Forward bodies looking to pile in and dive over. It's there. 50 caps today for Levin Chalachava. And he scores. A momentous occasion at Rugby World Cup 2019. And the crowd applaud him. Good tap and go from up his head, Zan. Good little offload as well in the tackle. Strong carry and quick processing of the ball as it came offload at first. And it may well have been a Welsh put in, but it's an opportunity for some real pressure from the Lalos. A lot of hard yards to make there. This time it's only one metre or so, but he's done it well. The conversion is good. And Georgia a fair value for the time.
Williams goes wide on the angle. And Davis looking for a looper. This one thrown a bit loose. So they're going to go back to collect this. Tackle on Reese Patchell. 26-year-old from the Scarlet side. Parks goes wide. Intercepted. Georgia flicks it through. They lose it. And the ball on the outside. Advantage here. Josh Adams beats a couple. Then kick through from Williams. Into touch it goes. Both teams looking to strike with that last passage. This was the initial intercept. Bit of a loose pass thrown by Bradley Parks. Gathered by the fullback Matthias Vili and then the little offload. Two meters 16. Georgia. Loving their time in the limelight. Azandatse. Good kick over the top. Chases us here. How does it set up? Oh, so close. Racing in there was Miran Modabatse. Different ball, different, different ball, no quick. You're outside, man. They're throwing everything at this of the Georgians. It's Lee Halfpenny just well. able to get there. Ball had gone into touch. Defending line out. To Brick. Yeah, Feeds it away to Williams. They go wide to the channel. Hadley Parks. Deep kick comes down to Motobatse. He was the one that almost lashed onto that kick head. Cheers. Takes it on himself. Oh, oh, he gets a shoulder and a half from Tuparik. The ball spilt north on the outside. Great skill. Parks puts the kick over the top. Vonage is over. Matteo Ushvili is by himself. Oh, Tuparik with a tackle as well. Support arrives. And a smash downfield. It's not out. Williams, beats two, ducks under that second one, gets the ball magically back on the inside, North with a step, George North, yes, he's over! Well, there's going to be a touchline report here, I think, maybe not. I thought Ben O'Keefe was going to go around and chat about a little bit of off the ball stuff, but it's a great finish from George North, had a load of work to do, good vision as well, there was some big defence coming across. Step, go, the little pop pass was good. North had it in his hands now. Oh, loads to do and did it well. Thomas Williams has shown some real confidence and skill levels since he's come on. That's a great ball over the top. Yeah, it's got a little bit loose and open here. Maybe a bit of tired legs in the Georgian defence there. Two of the Welsh players going through seven or eight tacklers. Finishing with George North stretching out. Scoring try at number six for the Welsh. Lovely strike. Slips through the uprights. Ninety seconds to go. You gotta find the energy and get back on the park. Well, the crowd has certainly helped this Georgian Crunch. side to two tries in the second half. One scored by Shela Mamakushvili, front row forward, and then Levan Chilachava, the replacement, in his 50th appearance tonight. Georgia scrum popped up in the middle. Oh, the Welsh will be thinking they earned the penalty there. Seem to have the dominance. If that was the case, you would have had the penalty, but I didn't get it. It's maybe those uh, cold legs of Chilichavos. Good battle, but let's stay down. Aren't you all? In fact, it's Gugashvili who would have the cold legs. He's had to come back on. It's the applause that roars yet again. They get a penalty to Georgia. Gela Aprasidze didn't go quickly this time. Gets it to his fly-off. Abjandadze 
to get closer for potential rolling mall try. Oh, it's a great kick. It's a great kick. Not a huge angle to work with. He's got it down, got it down to about 10 or 12 metres. The gong sounds, but the Georgians will have one last play at a third try. Gatlin and Haig look on from both sides. Final moment. Oh, it's over the top. Wales turn around and Reese Patchell kicks it into touch. The Welsh have scored six tries tonight against two from Georgia. Positives from both sides. But full time, it's 43-14. A win for Wales over Georgia in their Pool D clash. After a spirited effort from Georgia who captured the crowd at the city of Toyota Stadium, it was Wales who ran in six tries to walk away with a bonus point victory. Well, we kept fighting at the end, but it was not enough because it's been a really tough result for us. We, we gave away too much, too many points, so after it was too late to, to bring the score up again. So the score is unfortunate for us, but we, we got a lot to work on for next next games, so we're going to try to improve as much as possible. Yeah, I think we, we, we came out of the box as we went in the first half. We're probably going to be a bit disappointed, if, if I'm honest, with the second half. Uh, we let a couple of tries in. And, we didn't really continue in the similar vein, so it's it's a good result, but there's plenty to work on. It was a good business. You have all you have four points in the first half, then you you can rest some players. You are happy with that? Oh yeah, there's always the air of precaution, but I think the overall, um, like I say, feeling is that we probably uh, took our foot off the gas a bit in the second half. Um, so yeah, you know, like I say, there's plenty to work on. And you have more than 30 people here shouting for you. Yeah, it's great to come to a stadium like this with. Uh, uh, a lot of Welsh fans, a lot of Japanese fans, a lot of Georgian fans. Uh, it makes the, uh, the game a great occasion. Thank you very much. Wales now join Australia at the top of Pool D, which sets up a mouth-watering clash with the Wallabies in their second match, which could decide who finishes on top of the table.